John chapter 19, verse 30 to 42. Therefore, when Jesus had received the Solomon, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. And the Jews, because it was a day of preparation for the bodies that would not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for that Sabbath was a high and holy day, asked Pilate that they break their, their, their legs might be broken and that they might be taken down right away. So the so the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man, and the other was crucified with him. But, but coming to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead. They did not break his legs, but one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear, and really blood and water came out. And he who had seen has testified, and his testimony is true. And he, he knows that he was telling the truth, so that you also may believe. For though these things came to pass to fulfill the scriptures, not a bone of him shall be broken. And again the scripture says, they shall look upon him who they pierce. After, the, after these things, Jesus of Arima, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but a secret one for fear of the Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate granted, granted permission. So that he came and took away his body. Nicodemus, who had first come to him by night, also came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pound weight. So they took the body of Jesus and bound him in linen and wrapped him with spices, as it's a very custom for the Jews. Now in the place where he was crucified, there was a garden, and the garden had a new tomb, in which no one had yet made. Therefore, because the Jews' preparation day, since the tomb was nearby, they laid Jesus there. I don't know about you, but <coughs> Jesus died for us. He loved us so much, and when he died, he paid the full penalty for our sins. He paid it in full. Today, a friend of mine, um, I, I had, I went to the store. Well, I, had, I have an iPod, and it needed to be, needed to be fixed. And I took it down to um, the iPod play someplace to get a fix. And someone knew about it, and and they paid that price in full. And that's what Jesus did for us. He paid our, our, he took the penalty of our sin and paid it in full for us. And that's what he can do for you too. He paid the penalty so we don't have to go to hell. If you need to know Jesus Christ as your first and Savior, call 1-888-NEED-HIM today. And remember, Jesus loves you so much that he paid the full penalty for our sin. And he paid your full penalty and mine. Don't wait another minute. Ask Jesus in your heart today. He loves you so much. He paid it beautiful. Thank you for, and I thank Jesus for that every day. And if you need to know Jesus as your personal Savior, call, call 1 888 need him today. And it will help you lead a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. God loves you, and I love you. Take care.